actually done this tournament about six seven times so we like to think of ourselves as a development rugby club um, and and one that gives fantastic opportunities to players uh, to travel the world and, and play some you know pretty intense sevens and and this is no different play a game of sevens like that we, we dropped off about six seven tackles in the first four or five minutes and uh, you know given two two easy gifts of scores uh, add that in with our unforced errors uh, getting held up over the line you know there, there were there were so many individual errors out there it, it, it wasn't the best time sudden now we're thinking get a good win we top the group back to where we were okay so it, 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 it has to have that mentality now that, that we got a bit more downtime okay be confident like, like keep that feeling keep tight and, and we just need to make sure we're focused on the opportunities and threats for the next one well, we've seen rain in Scotland many times, well how about this, this is rain in Kenya, this is the real deal and it stopped the Safari 7s temporarily. Of course we're here with Samurai, the team that have lost their first game, won their second convincingly and they now await to play the Western Province in their third match. Hopefully for them, the rain will stop soon.
not ideal day, if I'm honest, but you know the boys showed great character and, and really epitomised with that last tackle of the game to uh, to see off Western Province. So you know we made the quarterfinals uh, tournament, so one on the second day, not on the first. So uh, yeah, a lot to play for tomorrow. You know, it's not bad for a side that has just come together, you know, for a couple of days. But, you know, the missed opportunities will give me that sort of feeling of uh, of, of, of a one that we could have won. They're hurting. They're, they're, they're winners. You know, these boys are, you know, are used to are, are talented players in their teams and, and are used to winning. So, you know, when they come face to face with with that loss in the quarterfinal in knockout rugby, it's hard to take. But they, they they have to switch on for the next one and, and make sure this tournament doesn't fizzle out and they finish it on a high. Yeah, frustrating to finish like that. We knew we had the beating of that side. Uh, we were sloppy on our threes and gave them opportunities to turn us over far too many times. It's a big learning curve for the boys. Um, you know, no doubt in their careers they're going to come up. You know, in tournaments where the weather or the pitch is, is is affecting them. I hope they can actually pull on these these positive memories in terms of how they react to it and, and how we try and achieve. Uh, you know, a victory in these testing conditions. So, you know, all in all, the boys came together excellently. Um, I, I was, I, I was proud of their work rate. A lot of them did work really hard, um, and you know, I hope they've learned a lot. The sad part, of course, we're never going to see that team together again. But friendships have started here today. This side will never be in the changing room again. Playing for each other and and, and playing for the badges is means so much.